Hi guys, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I hope you got everything that you ever wanted. But now that the holiday season's over, it's back to business and I'm back making tutorials. And after my little break, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back in with a relatively simple and straightforward tutorial, but something that a lot of people seem to not know how to do. And that is gun clipping. And by gun clipping or weapon clipping, what I mean is this. So as you can see, I've got a very basic first person controller. We have a weapon attached to our camera, which follows us around. And we have this huge wall. Now, when I get too close to the wall, the weapon clips through the wall. And obviously we don't want that because that just looks stupid. And that is an extremely simple fix. And all we need to do, there's no coding involved. We just need a second camera. But before we get into it, I just want to thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. I've got his links in the description below. Go check him out on Twitter. Go check out his website. Keep on track of what he's up to. And I'd also like to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. We've got Steve UK and Brandon Zill. You guys are fantastic. Love you. So let's get into it. How do we go about doing this? Well, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of what I've got so far. We have our environment set up, our wall, our floor, and then we have our player. Now, this is a pretty standard setup for a first-person game. We have our player, which has our capsule collider and a rigid body and our FPS controller attached to it. Now, if you want a brief overview of that FPS controller, it is a very simple one, but... If you want to have a look at what's inside there, drop a comment below and I'll do a quick tutorial on making a very basic FPS controller. But now, inside of our player object, we have our main camera. Now, our FPS controller grabs hold of this and we start rotating the camera with our mouse movements. Pretty simple stuff. And then finally, we have this AUG weapon that's underneath the main camera in the hierarchy. Again, pretty simple stuff. But because the AUG is a 3D object, when it gets too close to another object, because this doesn't have a collider attached to it, it's going to clip through. So we could either put a collider on the weapon, but then a player wouldn't be able to get as close as we want them to, to the wall. So instead, what we can do, we can use something called camera stacking. And what that's going to do, we're going to create a new camera that's sole purpose is to render a weapon. Then we're going to stack that camera on top of our main camera as an overlay. And then that weapon is always going to be rendered on top of everything else in our game. And again, really, really simple to do. So what I'm going to do, again, as a child of my main camera, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new camera. And then with this new camera, I'm going to change a couple of the settings and I'm also going to remove this audio listener because we only need one audio listener in our scene at any given time. So what settings do we need to change? Well, we'll start from the top. The render type, instead of being a base camera, we want to click that and change it to an overlay camera. And you'll see some changes automatically in your scene view. Next, we want to change the clipping planes near to be as low as possible, 0.01. That way we don't get part of our gun being clipped off when it's too close to the camera. Next, we don't want a camera rendering any shadows. We want to make this as performant as possible, and we'll get rid of occlusion culling as well. So now currently, we have two cameras that are rendering pretty much the same thing. So we want to tell our second camera, a weapon renderer, we'll rename that, weapon renderer. We want to tell that camera that we only want to render the weapon. And we can do that by setting the culling mask. But the first thing we've got to do, we've got to set up a layer for our weapon. So if we select our AUG, go over into our inspector, select the layer, and instead of default, we're going to add a new layer. And we'll call that weapon. Now set our AUG to be weapon. And just remember, if you've got multiple weapons in your game, you're going to have to have each one of those weapons as a weapon layer. Next, we'll click our weapon renderer. And down here, where we've got culling mask, We'll change it from everything to nothing quickly. And as you can see in here, we are currently rendering nothing apart from the skybox. And then we'll change that back to weapon. So now our weapon renderer should only be rendering any objects that, have the, that are on the layer weapon. And just to make sure that we're not rendering that weapon twice, we'll select our main camera, go to the culling mask, 
and this time we'll just uncheck weapon. So now you can see if I select the main camera, we don't have a weapon rendering, but we do have the ground rendering. If I select my weapon renderer, we don't have the ground, but we have the weapon. Now the final thing that we need to do, we select our main camera, come right down to the bottom where we've got this stack option, and it should be empty for you. Now if we click the little add to list plus icon, it'll detect every camera in your scene, and we've called ours weapon renderer. So we'll click that, and now what Unity is going to do, that's going to merge the outputs from both of those cameras into a single image. So now that should be it, that should be our weapon running perfectly fine. If we play the same game again, we've made no changes apart from our camera. If we walk over to our wall, we can see we no longer clip through. Perfect. That is exactly what we were looking for. And as you can see, it's really simple to do. Not much needed. Just a few things to remember. Like I said, when you're creating a new weapon, just make sure that any weapons that you create are on the weapon layer. And just to make it performant, make sure that you don't render the weapons on the main camera, only on the weapon renderer. So it has been a short video, and I intentionally wanted this to be a short video because a lot of people seem to have problems with this, and I just wanted to emphasize how quick it is to fix this. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bites as Unity hints and tips.